Hey guys, B2 coming at you with a quick update and I'm gonna share with you the top five things I do in games that annoy my teammates. So can't wait to share this with you guys, so stay tuned. So I can't share with you a couple of the games that have some really good examples of this, but I'm going to do the best I can in the games that I can share. Now, I have one game that I'm in a battle royal. It's um, It was a 30-person 30, 30 battle royal that I can't share my units and locations, but it's a prime example of um, units all over the board. And the second one is a match that we're on our Discord. There are two separate teams playing and we're clashing with each other in a live game. And that is also another one where I just looked and I had a helicopter in a random city and a, a troop going in Russia that was like way out in the middle of nowhere, uh, which is uh, which is this game uh, right here. You can tell that I had this random unit like out in the middle of nowhere just going through uh, Russia. I don't, I don't know why I do stuff like this, but I, I guess I feel like I could pick up some VPs pretty easy and I just set them to go all the way down here. I mean, I think it's like a, a six day trip or something like that. Yeah. Day 16. Yeah. When I said it, it was a seven day trip. By the time he gets over here, I'm, I'm assuming that China will probably own this land, but you know, if I can grab five or six easy VPs, China's not going to attack me over some random Russian territory. I hope, um, but uh, but anyway, uh, random units is a big one. Uh, Base Hunter will tell you that. HJJ will tell you that. The guys are like, hey, hey, B2, go get your troops. There's like four of them out in Norway somewhere in the middle of the ocean. I, I don't know. I don't know why I do that. Seems to work well for me, but does annoy my teammates. Uh, the number four thing I do, and again, I, I don't have an example of this, but I'm going to show you in game, um, is I'll have a coastal town like Zeshin here. Um, and I'll have like a, a level four naval base and a level four army base. Like I'm not going to produce both in, in the same town, but because I always end up overproducing resources and I always end up with like level five arms industries really fast. It just spirals your troops. So if you could hold off the initial rush, um, I start producing four and 500 of these an hour of the top two. I'm always the one in, in my uh, coalition that's selling off the resources to the other guys who are starving for supplies and components um, while having enough army. So, uh, so, so the number four thing was army and air force. So number three is exactly what I've done in the, the intro to this video. If you notice that I have not used political view one time on here to show you what actual land we have and what's going on. I, I don't, I don't know. I guess I play the game so much that political view doesn't help me. I know who my allies are and who my enemies. Um, you know, in this game, it's uh, it's Germany, Poland, Belarus, the three of us. Uh, we try to do a three-man game to uh, to see, and you can tell where we're at in the standings here. Um, we're, we got three of the top five spots, right, early in the game. Um, you can see we pushed uh, base all the way through France really, really fast. This, we were going to cut it short on Spain and try to come up here and take these upper cities up here in Sweden and Norway, but Serbia popped off. Um, that leads to my number two thing. I always seem to find countries that end up with 12 to 20 stacks of troops, and you can see this in Serbia. We ran into this guy, he stacked them all. He has a 13 stack in his home, in his capital city, right? So um, I just always seem to find these guys like early game that will stack their troops and just run that stack in circles. I mean, this, this unit has got full hit points, but it's only at 78% proficiency and a couple of the units are hurt, right? So um, we're going to be able to pull in some strike fighters here shortly and, and take care of this stack really easily because he's got no air defense, right? Um, but I always seem to, I'm a magnet for this sort of play. Um, and base is probably laughing right now going, you just did that to me when I was Cuba in this other game that we're playing that I can't show you because I do not want those guys to see my setup in there. I cannot wait for them to attack me. It's going to be like surprise on there. So, um, and the top thing that I do that annoys my teammates the most, the number one thing that I do is I always get us into fights with too many countries. So even if you look at this match, we're on day 10. Um, and I'll show you that I have four, which is not bad, right? So France, Italy, and Russia. Um, so Italy and, and France, like it's these down here. I, we just don't ever really have a solid plan early to get that. So, so I do have the level two naval bases up here. I'm going to do a recruiting 
um, and then I'll be able to pop out like some some naval infantry, right? So this guy right here, I think that's all I need is uh, I need an army base two and recruiting one, easy peasy, right? Uh, but then I can go and take these little islands because if we ever attack up here, we're gonna have to take that one and this one and that one and that one. You know, if you go to attack UK, you gotta get that one, that one, that one. Like it's crazy, uh, and nobody is prepared for that. So. Uh, so, but then if you look at this other game that I'm running here, we are, uh, we're doing well. This is the match that we have, um, that we're, uh, that we're playing really well in. I just wanted to make sure that we're not, yeah, okay, we're cool. So I didn't want to give away information if I didn't need to, but I'm playing Kenya, um, short city, but I did, um, go ahead and annex some. So you see, I've got, instead of five, I've got some going here. Um, I just annexed another one that will lead me up to by day 35. Uh, I'll have arms industry fives and everything, and I'll be producing up to about 450 to 500 an hour once you load the hospitals. But in this game, again, B2, how many people are you fighting in this game? Let's see. And uh, you're fighting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So uh, when you look at that, now, why does that matter? Um, you know, if you're going to look at like, let's see if I have a smoking city somewhere. No, that one's uh, it's Thailand just kind of trying to backdoor, but I think he's just trying to be uh, cute on there. Uh, there we go. So if you look and you look at your morale, when you click on this eye, it's going to tell you at war with eight nations was a nine, was a minus 16 on the morale factor. So if you're only at war with three or four nations, that would be a, um, it's double. So it would be a six or an eight versus at war with eight, which is a 16. It's really hard to make things stop smoking and you end up standing in cities for three or four days to make sure that the rogues don't take them over. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video, but those are the top five things that I do that annoy my teammates. Uh, have a great night. See ya.